Hi everyone here, Liz Story again uh, with the Tax Advisory and Business Coach Success Podcast. And also now we are actually recording our podcast in YouTube. So for some of you who might be listening to this, uh, uh, you know, I'm very excited about it because I know some of you who were my subscribers, you know, uh, through YouTube, um, they were um, actually getting uh, my episodes being recorded as a video format, but um, you know they had a static uh, logo, uh, so even though they could listen to it through you know the the YouTube channel, uh, it was just static. It was just logo. So uh, I have decided to bring more value to you as I normally like to do as much as I possibly can um, to go ahead and start creating video formats along with the podcast. So today we're going to discuss about the three tax tips for businesses, okay? Three tax tips for businesses. And the very first I can think about that can truly, truly, um, you know, help you right away, um, especially if at this point you have not filed your tax, you know, your business return or you have an extension, it's a great opportunity. Uh, so please uh, listen up and uh, hopefully this tips can save you a lot of money. So number, number one that we're going to discuss, okay, it's going to be about uh, French benefits, okay? And just to be a little more specific, because I'm sure you've heard about that expression, terminology, but it might be still a little bit of uh, uncertainty. Uh, number one, French benefits can come in many ways under a company. Now, I'm talking about people who already have established their you know, corporation, whether you have an LLC, whether you have a partnership, whether you have a, a C Corp or an S Corp, right? Um, one of the things that you want to make sure is, number one, always, always deduct your insurance. Okay, so that means not only your, uh, you know, what we call uh, our mission and error, you know, insurance or your liability insurance that we all know about that, but we want to also be able to deduct the group term life insurance, disability insurance, right? But especially which one? Health insurance. So if you do have a spouse working for you and they're really doing at least maybe a couple hours a week helping you out to, to you know, uh, run your business, uh, it doesn't matter what stage you are, whether you're in the beginning of the stage as, you know, starting the business or whether you're already successful, that's great. But either way, don't forget about this because a lot of times I've seen, uh, you know, entrepreneurs, uh, you know, paying their insurance uh, out of their, you know, personal account. Okay, and the reality is that it's, you know, unfortunately for you as an individual, it's non-deductible, all right? So if you are running a business and you are working in behalf of your company and, and, and you know, putting these hours, uh, then make sure that you can bring along your spouse and especially, like I said, you need to make sure that she is set up or he right? Uh, in some sort of, uh, you know, a, a small salary or you're paying him some, you know, a few hours in hourly wage. And then you're able to add that spouse into your uh, health insurance plan. All right. And then be able to deduct that expense. Right. Now it becomes deductible and uh, it's a reduction against your income in your business. Now, Let's even move, you know, step forward to that. We also talked about your kids, okay? Another benefit, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, owners, they actually, you know, uh, marriage, you know, marriage or, you know, uh, partners, they bring their kids into their business. And there's a lot of benefits to that too, uh, especially if they have a certain age, um, you know, they don't have to pay social security. And if they're under, you know, the standard deduction, then they pay zero in federal tax, okay? So as you can see, there's a lot of benefits. Very important that you keep that in mind, or at least hopefully, you know, your tax professional, your, your CPA, whoever is in charge of doing your, your, your personal and business taxes um, to, to be alert of these kind of deductions there, you're all, you're eligible to, to, to take right now. Uh, and, and the second one I wanted to offer as a second tip okay, that I think it's really important is that when you're having issues collecting money uh, from your customers, uh, keep in mind that there's something called a bad debt. Bad debt is a general ledger account that goes inside your books to keep track 
or who's not paying you. So if you done all that, you you pretty much exhausted all your efforts <laughs> in collecting, uh, you know that that invoice, and your your customer's not paying you for whatever reasons or you know whatever uh, situations happen rise between the two of you. Uh, it doesn't matter if, if you provided the service and, and, and or you deliver that product and they still haven't paid you and you've done a lot of attempts, it gets to a point that you need to, um, you know, uh, I call it cutting the rope. So if, again, you're, you're, if it's December 31st, you haven't collected this money and you know you're not going to collect because there's no promises, they're not responding, they're not, uh, you know, um, communicating with you then you are eligible to take that deduction again this reduces your income so as you can see these are things that really can help you uh, when you filing your return uh, to reduce it so again going back to the first uh, doing the recap so we got number one we can go ahead and deduct a lot of types of different insurance especially the health insurance for your spouse and your children Two, you're able to deduct the bad debt of monies and receivables that unfortunately you're not going to collect, so might as well take a deduction out of that. And when I say deduction, yes, I mean the full deduction. So if you have a customer who owes you $3,000 or a couple hundred or whatever amount it is, that's exactly how much you're able to reduce against your income. That's correct. And then finally, as my third tip, that I like really helping out, uh, you know, my my uh, you know my my entrepreneurs and, and small businesses like yourself. It's to be able um, to actually um, take advantage of you know uh, doing donations. Not only you do them individually, you can do them through your company. As long as it's a non for profit, uh, keep that in mind. So perhaps you know a lot of people like to do individual. It makes us feel good to give out, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's a human, uh, I call it kindness that we have, and uh, I believe that, you know, as much as we give, uh, hopefully we may receive back, and, and, and the reality is that, you know, if you're in that position in, in your life that you have the generosity to, to offer donations and charity, remember, it's not only cash, uh, you can do um, checks. And by the way, some of you might not be aware, and that's something you need to speak to your tax professional about, but you can deduct actually stocks. That's right. Uh, so remember, the same way you can, uh, you know, deduct, uh, you know, items, right? Your furniture, uh, you, you, maybe you want to donate your car. Um, as long as they give you a letter uh, with the actual market value of, of that, you know, item that you have, you know, donated, um, make sure you do because anything over, you know, $250, you do need to have a letter of confirmation for that. And going back to the stocks, yeah, that's something that you need to discuss. So for let me give you an example. Let's say that today you decide to, um, to donate one of your, uh, some of your stocks and let's say you bought it for a hundred dollars. Okay, now uh, by the time you donated that that stock is worth two hundred dollars. Well, you're able to deduct that amount uh, on the time that you actually do the donation. So again, uh, you know, touch base with them if you need assistance. Obviously, we're here to help you. As I always say, uh, I am with ATBS. I am the founder, and uh, I love helping people. I mean, it's something I've been doing for many many years, and creating all these videos and my podcast. And we can be reached at etbsfl.com. And, uh, and I'm here to service you along with my team. So thank you so much. And until our next episode, um, I wish you a lot of success. Thank you. And goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye.